Hello and welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about thrips. Thrips are really the worst of the worst houseplant pests. I absolutely hate them. Whenever I see them I squish them right away. But the problem is you can hardly see them. They're usually just about one millimeter in size. Their color is usually black. Uh, their larvae they are white and almost uh, translucent and they're just really really hard to spot. But what you see, what you clearly can see is the uh, thrips damage. Today I'm going to show you one of the leaves that is uh, still affected by uh, thrips and then I'm also going to show you what I'm doing about it. Enter the thrips. Here is a uh, Philodendron mamai or Plaumanii uh, leaf. I think it's a Philodendron Plaumanii and I'm just going to show you a close-up of how the leaf looks like at the moment. What you can see here is the uh, distorted color. You see uh, some yellow, you see orange and this is a clear indication of thrips damage. Especially on monstera plants, they almost, the leaves almost look like they've been burned by the sun. And if I turn it around, you will, sometimes you will see some, some drops, some uh, plant sap, uh, but you will certainly also see, and it's probably hard on the camera, like some small dots and these small dots are the thrips. As I mentioned, they're just about uh, one millimeter in, millimeter in size, so they're really hard to spot. But uh, what I'm doing is that once I spot them, I just squish them. And I had a hard time not squishing them before this video, but I'm going to do it uh, right now. But this doesn't really help uh, to get rid of thrips. So what I'm doing about it. So one thing I'm doing is I'm using a spraying bottle and I fill that with uh, dishwasher soap and also rubbing alcohol. I'm practically I'm just adding a few drops of each of these two and then I add in water. Afterwards I have a um, spraying bottle that I use to um, spray the, um, the water on the uh, plant leaves. What you have to be wary of or careful of is that some plants don't really take that very well. An example is Anturium varacrianum. If you spray alcohol on uh, the leaves, uh, they are gonna, they're gonna burn. So you really have to be careful. Usually what is suggested is to start with a small area, wait a couple of hours or even a day or two and see um, whether the leaf gets burned or not. And also what I'm doing is uh, right afterwards I'm just washing the leaves with water. I just wash everything off. Like this, I, I, um, I use it like every day um, to just spray uh, the plants that are infected and sometimes I also spray, spray plants that don't have any thrip uh, damage uh, just as a preventative measure. And yeah, it, it works, but it doesn't work extremely well because uh, usually thrips are not going away. And this is when um, or why I'm using my uh, second weapon again, thrips. Uh, these are beneficial nematodes. I'm just going to show you a close-up. This is a little sachet of uh, Ambiserius Sversky, if I'm pronouncing this right. These are beneficial nematodes. These are small uh, little bugs um, that are known to kill and eat thrips. So what I'm doing is, uh, every couple of weeks, I just put on uh, a couple of these on uh, all the infected plants, but also on the ones that don't have um, thrips at the moment. Sometimes um, it works really well if um, the colony is quite big, they start to get um, eat the thrips and um, I get rid of the thrips, but sometimes uh, there aren't a lot of uh, Ambiseo Swirsky in it, because they reproduce here and grow here for a couple of weeks, like usually three to five weeks and afterwards you need a new uh, sachet that you add on the plants. But um, the beneficial nematodes are far the greatest method to get uh, rid of the thrips. So, yeah, these are the two uh, methods I'm using. Just um, a little bit about the um, thrips damage. So thrips are known to um, suck the plant sap. So they will stay in one spot and start to um, suck the sap. Uh, and you will see little holes and distorted um, color on the leaves. But the worst thing about the thrips is that they are a vector for about like 20 uh, other different viruses. So um, you will see things like this because the thrips also carry viruses with them 
and they um, are starting to um, affect your plants. So once you see distorted growth, uh, you should always look out for pests. There are also other uh, pests that will um, carry viruses, uh, but yeah, new growth and leaf leaves can start to uh, look distorted. So that's what I'm doing about drips. Uh, use a spray, uh, use beneficial nematodes, and hopefully you get uh, rid of all your strips. I really hope you liked this uh, little care video. Um, I'm going to record more care videos on what to do about the uh, most common houseplant uh, pests. Uh, please uh, give this video a like, hit the notification bell, so you're gonna be informed when new videos are uh, coming out and follow our channel. This was Daniel from uh, Plantifiers. Thank you so much for watching. See ya and goodbye.